begin our talk about John Brown's raid by talking first about another man. Now, this man's name was Dangerfield Newby. And in today's society, there wouldn't really be anything about Dangerfield Newby that would set him apart from anyone else. A very average guy. Um, nothing too unique about it. But in the 1850s, there was something very distinct about Dangerfield Newby. Dangerfield was black, but he was also free. Unlike the four million slaves in the United States during this time, Dangerfield Newby didn't have a master. He was a free man. Now, Dangerfield Newby hadn't always been free. In fact, he had been born into slavery. 